स्वभावचिन्मयानंदम कृपा पूर्णम जगत्पति हरिषडवर्ग जे तारम नित्यानंद गुरुम बजे स्वभावचिन्मयानंदम कृपा पूर्णम जगत्पति हरिषडवर्ग जे तारम नित्यानंद गुरुम बजे स्वभावचिन्मय वी विल एंटर इनटू द टुडेस टेक्निक यू विल सी द Today's technique is the answer for this question. There are few more questions. All of them are related to the today's technique in a different way. I'll answer all of them when I am talking on today's technique. Let's enter into today's sutra. Task attachment for body aside, realizing I am everywhere. One who is everywhere is joyous. Okay. Shiva is dropping one more new and clear bomb. <laughs> Yesterday, what Mahadeva spoke. Today, he is speaking the after effect of that initiation. It's like a, this again Ananda Sutra. Neither you need to practice at a particular time, nor you need to practice whole day. Just need to understand, like yesterday's sutra. Like yesterday's sutra, need to understand, and with that understanding, face the life. Or when that understanding happens, that naturally your desires and everything will start getting rearranged. You will lose respect for your fears. Your fears cannot frighten you. That is the problem. And your desires cannot shake you. When Your desires cannot shake you, fears cannot frighten you. A new kind of a rearrangement will start happening in your life. That rearrangement, when that rearrangement starts happening inside you, cooperating with that rearrangement. Today is all about the cooperation. He is saying how. we stop the cooperation and how we are expected to cooperate that is the whole essence of today's sutra task attachment for body aside realizing i am everywhere understand the yesterday sutra is like a psychological revolution the like inner revolution understanding the mind forms the base of the i when you just understand that one thing automatically you will lose respect for mind not only the wealth even what you think as your fears your desires your whatever you think as you now the whole problem is what you think as you you think it is yours then go on running behind it mahadeva taught us it is not ours it is not ours that is the first click first initiation here mahadeva is giving a very beautiful one more click initiation to continue to add on to go deeper See when that initiation happens, when you come down from that initiation, what will be the only problem or disturbance which will take you away from that initiation? Our living enlightenment is attachment to your body or other bodies. Understand? When you need some other body or your body to express your desire. Or when you need to be away from some other body, from your own body, because of your fear, this initiation, our living enlightenment, you come down from it. You start living enlightenment. Very strong, subtle thing. Please put your attention and energy. when you have 
attachment to your body or some other body. This is two things. And the other, another two things is fear and desire. See, desire for your body and desire for other body. Fear of your own body and fear about other body being around you. Fear about other bodies being around you, you will try to away, be away from them. That is the fight. That is the war, violence, whatever. Fear of your own body is fear of disease and fear of being ugly. These things are fear of your own body. Whether it is attachment or fear of both related to your own body, if you can put it aside for few weeks till this initiation gets settles in you, he says, you will realize I am everywhere. One who is everywhere is joyous. All he is doing today is adding some more fire. He is just saying, don't relax from the living enlightenment. The click which you had, the initiation which you had, the clarity which you had, live with that. Continue to have it. Don't rest from it. What all the reasons can bring you down from the initiation? See, he is describing. The attachment, straight first attachment to your body. An attachment to another one body. See. Attachment to another one body means whenever you need to throw your engrams, throw your desires out, your desires are anger. If you need a body throw, to throw your desires or anger, that is relationship. Deciding clearly, I will not throw my desires or anger on other body, I'll throw it only in the sky, I'll release it to the nature, I'll be only releasing them all to the aloneness, completely, independently, without depending on any person, is what I call sannyas. Sannyas means deciding not to throw the attachment not to throw the desires or the anger on other person. You may ask, how is it possible to release it in the air? <laughs> Mahadeva is giving, already in the earlier sutras, he has given a beautiful technique, even for throwing your anger and lust into the air. He says, a simple visualization of that person and expressing all those energies, emotions through your body can completely heal you. Understand? When you are releasing your anger, your lust into the air, you will not be dependent on the, on the other person. You will only be overflowing on the other person. As son now, that if you are expecting the other person to be there for releasing your anger or lust, not only you will become dependent on that person, because you are dependent on that person, you will carry more violence and vengeance towards that person. That is why the spouse becomes an intimate enemy. <laughs> intimate, but enemy. Because you feel Everywhere you are able to stand on your own. Here you have to bend. You feel. Here you have to answer. Here you have to be responsible. Here you have to be little lower than what you are. Or what you show to everybody. Small story. <laughs> One guy comes back very late to the house late night around 4 o'clock, maybe next day early morning. The moment she opens the door, she asks, do you know what is time? This guy says, oh, 
it is too early, just 10.30 night. She says, no, see the alarm clock, it's 4 o'clock, practically early morning, too late. Then this guy starts shouting, what? You are trusting the rotten 20 dollar alarm and not the husband who is standing in front of you? Your trust for the 20 dollar alarm is more than your trust for the living person who is in front of you. Sometimes the trust for the alarm clock, rotten alarm clock is more deeper than the trust for the person. You can't tolerate it. You will say, what? Then you are believing the clock, not me. But logically, she has to believe the clock. She has to believe the clock. Life, many times, brings you back to the reality. But you feel the difficulty to accept the reality. And naturally, the other person becomes intimate enemy.